Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video and hanging out with me today. I'm going to do a weekend vlog. I'm just going to combine this weekend into one vlog and just take you guys with me throughout my weekend. I just ordered food for me and Joy. I actually ordered some Indian curry, which I cannot wait to eat. We're just going to split it. I'll show you guys what we got. Um, so we're going to have a little lunch and then I'm going to go out on a little errands and by myself, kind of just like treat myself to some coffee. I need to go pick up some stuff from World Market. I have have a list of things I need to do so I'm gonna just vlog my day it's actually pretty late it's already three o'clock um, so I'll pick this up tomorrow and just combine this weekend all together I wanted to talk about my hair for a second you guys I'm using this Bondi boost like brush air wrap dryer combo thing um, it's amazing I'll and it's insert a clip so you guys can see how it works but seriously this is my hair is never like when I blow dry my hair it's super frizzy but with this it just dries so nice and straight I don't have to straighten it or curl it I kind of like the style that it gives so I'm gonna leave a link down below you guys have to check it out if you like also like your hair like this it's seriously the best and I have naturally kind of wavy curly hair so the fact that I can blow dry it into this straight of a look is amazing so I'll show you guys a little clip of what it is and what it looks like Okay, so I got some rice and then I got the chicken korma, which is like a chicken cashew nut curry. And then I got yogurt, um, yogurt like dressing, it's like a dipping, and then some garlic naan bread, which is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pour this over. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I haven't had curry and so long. I wish this had vegetables. That's the only thing. The bread is the best part. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Here's our lunch and the bread. Look at that. They put garlic and parsley on top or cilantro, not parsley, cilantro. And then you dip it with this yogurt and you just like kind of scoop everything together and it's the best. <laughs> you excited? Very excited. my parents house I'm in their neighborhood I got a Starbucks coffee as you guys saw it's so good and it's really hitting the spot and then I'm gonna go to my mom's house I'm probably gonna end up eating dinner over here because she's making roasted veggies and probably maybe potatoes or rice or something so I'm gonna probably eat over here and play like cars with her um, we like to play 500 rummy and rummy Q if you guys play that I brought her some wine that I got from World Markets and yeah I'm gonna go hang out with my parents for a little bit and I'll bring you guys with me even though they they're so shy around the camera Ooh, we got sweet potato no carrot squash onion I see rosemary this looks good. I'm gonna have some of that later. Tomato. Mmm, this is good. It is? Got my mom this silk and spice from World That's Market. Good. Took me about 10 minutes to pick out a damn wine. <laughs> Do, not. Do not get me. Do not get me. Okay, we're gonna play. We're gonna play 500. Uh huh. Alright. Mmm. I am going to do my makeup and I get questions about my makeup quite a bit so I thought it would be a good time to do a little get ready with me let me see if this is too bright is that, is that better I can't tell so 
we're gonna do my makeup for the day. We have a baseball game to go to. We're gonna go to my nephew's baseball game and Joey's gonna be able to go with me because he doesn't have to work. Um, which is so exciting because he rarely gets to go to my nephew's baseball games. I'm drinking my coffee. It's gonna be a very natural makeup look, pretty much my makeup look that I do every day. I always prep my face, so I use a daily moisturizer. I'm gonna put this on. That's step one. Step two, I'm gonna use the Tula sunscreen because I'm gonna be outside. And then I also add eye cream because I actually get really dry when I put foundation under my eyes. I get very dry skin there. So I'm putting on this Ren Brightening Eye Cream. So those are the three steps. I'm gonna start now. It is raining, so you guys are gonna get the rain ambiance on the RV um, roof. It's very loud, so hopefully you don't mind that. Hopefully it's kind of relaxing maybe. Uh, I ordered some of my tanner because I'm out of tanner. And I am very pale. <laughs> Um, so I actually, I always use for my self tan, oh wait, oh my gosh, I have a full bottle. I forgot, I freaking have a full bottle and I ordered another one. Um, I think I ordered another one because I, this is ultra dark and I usually always get dark, but I have this ultra dark from Coco and Eve. I love this stuff, but I'm not going to tan right now. Even though I'm very pale, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> um, embrace the paleness, but I do like to tan, self-tan sometimes. I do feel, I don't know, like, I just feel more alive and glowy when I self-tan. I try not to tan a lot, like, out in the sun, um, just to protect my skin. But, yeah. I'm gonna add some sunscreen, speaking of protecting skin. Always, always add your sunscreen. It helps obviously protect your skin and it gives you an even skin tone because um, a lot of the times uneven skin tone is from just the sun hitting your face different spots. So keep that in mind. I'm adding the eye cream under the eye, around the eye, on the nose. And this is just gonna give yourself a really good like overall glow and the foundation goes on so much better and your skin's prepped and like plumped. For foundation, I'm actually using a new foundation. Um, I've used this before, um, but this is the Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 and this is in the color Nude. This is what it looks like. You can get it from any drugstore really. But it's the perfect color. My other foundation I use is just too dark. It's for when I self tan. So I am not using that one. I'm taking a wet damp beauty blender and I'm just going to apply my foundation. So yesterday I went to the world market and I got some really cute stuff. I didn't show you guys um, last night when I got home because it was just really dark. So I'll show you guys a haul once I'm done with my makeup. So it's just better lighting. I got some really cute stuff and then I went to my parents and we played a card game. I had some roasted veggies and potatoes over at my parents house which was so yummy. This foundation is so good. So good. So I'm not going to do concealer because this is the two in one. It has concealer in it and I'm not honestly a big fan of concealer. I only use it like when I have to um, but I feel like that did pretty good coverage. Um, I'm gonna use the Cheek Heat. This is by Maybelline. This is in the color Rose Vibrant. This is a blush, cream blush. Just have a little bit. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender on the other side. So this side. And I'm gonna apply this blush. Again, the sliding's not great, but it's going on, trust me. And I like a lot of blush. Honestly, I love blush a lot. I use more blush than I do bronzer, I feel like. <laughs> I just feel like it gives you that sun-kissed look. I apply it on my nose and my forehead, just on the top. And then I take it and I go over my eyelids because I like my eyelids to have a little bit of 
tint to them, like a little bit of color. And then we're gonna do bronzer. I use cream bronzer. This is by Merit. I love this bronzer. This is the Umber Bronzer Stick. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little stick and I go in the crease of my cheeks and I do like a little Y so that I can lift it. <laughs> that makes sense. So that's where I place my bronzer and then under my nose and on the side and then a little bit on my forehead. Take the beauty blender and just blend that in. And it blends really nicely and smooth. All right, and then for highlighter, I use the Charlotte Tilbury highlighting wand in the color, it's called Gold Goldgasm. That's what it is, Goldgasm. This is like the best little applicator for highlighter. It's um, liquid highlighter and I love it so much it's really pretty I like cream products because I feel like it gives off that dewy look and like that dewy skin so I absolutely love and highly recommend cream products and then for brows, I'm going to do that real quick. I use a pencil from Ulta Beauty. This is just the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, and I brush my brows. I don't have thick brows. I have very thin, light brows. Um, so I'm going to pencil those in real quick. And I just kind of go with the shape of my already, like, natural brow. I don't really try to shape them. I just follow what's already there, and then I brush in the pencil color. I just, like, brush it. And it gives a very like natural, effortless depth of color. And then I flick the product upwards like that. There we go. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and then for eyes, I use this Stilla um, Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Kitten. This is what it looks like. It's just like a little stick brush, like this. I'm gonna use just very little. I like take product off. I don't want too much. And then I use my finger and I blend it out like that. I just want a little bit of color. There we go. This is the, what is this, Tarte's, just like a little Tarte palette. And I'm gonna take the Speak Up and Encourage, these two. I'm gonna mix them and then I like to go under my eye. I like to add a little shadow down there. Just a little bit, just kind of brightens the eyes up. I'm gonna use the Merit Lengthening Mascara. If I could open it. I have to use two different mascaras. I like to use the Merit for lengthening because I have very short lashes and then I use the Better Than Sex Mascara to thicken them up. So it's kind of like a two-step process. Um, but this actually really does help spread them and lengthen them, but it doesn't add a lot of like depth to the lash, so I like to go over it with the Better Than Sex. So I'm just kind of like shaping them and extending them with this one. And funny fact, I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes. I just feel like it closes up my eyes and makes me look older. So I don't put mascara on the bottom lashes. It's as good as it's gonna Good as it gonna get. All right, for my lip liner, I use the same lip liner all the time. It's the Charlotte, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude. It's like the only lip liner I ever use. It's the best. Ooh, it needs to be sharpened up a little bit. But Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, it's just heavenly. I got some foundation on my lips, I need to rub off. 
And then I'm using the Undone Beauty Big Papa Gloss and Peach and Honey. I love this gloss. It's just like a light pink gloss and it's not sticky. It's very pretty. That's it. I did my hair yesterday and woke up and brushed it out and this is how it looks. So that's what we're going with. All right, let's see if you can see the makeup. Just very natural, very dewy, very simple eyes. Um, yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. That's what I use. I'll leave the products I can find down below um, for you guys if you want to have the similar makeup look as me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you guys very quick what I got from the World Market. I didn't get much stuff um, because, like for fall, I didn't get a lot of stuff for fall. Cause I have some pumpkins and I have candlesticks and orange pillows and I think that's all I'm gonna do for fall, honestly, cause we're trying to save money for the house and I'd rather save money for like big pieces of furniture for when we do buy a house. I've been like saving, trying to save and not buy like a lot of home decor and things because I want nice quality stuff for when we move. So, but anyways, I am a sucker for plates and bowls. So when I go to the world market, I get a lot of my plates and bowls and silverware and glassware from world market. I love world market so much. I got this pink bowl slash plate. I'll probably use this more for like a plate. I like my plates like this where they have a lip and this is such a pretty pale pink. It matches my nails. It's so pretty. I love the size. And I think this is gonna be just such a great plate to have. Babe, do you like this plate? Look. Uh oh, it's playing a video game. Ignoring me. And then we needed some spoons. Like just a few more spoons because we're running low. I don't know where our silverware goes. Um, and World Market has my favorite spoons and forks, which we already have some, but I just needed to get more. It's these black silver forks. They are so cool. So I got two of those. I got two of the spoons. Sorry if this is shaking, the dogs just hit it. Two of the spoons to match and then two spoons that Joey likes. He loves these little spoons, just like my dad. They both love little spoons. Very weird. And I got this really cute little dish towel. I just love the size and it's gonna be really good for the seasons and it's huge. Look how big this is. Like this is a really big little dish towel. So I love this. I think it's super cute. Um, good for photos and just good for like fall and winter. And then I get a lot of my jars and glasses also from F World Market. I thought this was perfect for juices. Like if I make fresh squeezed juice or fresh milk, um, like almond milk, I can store it in this. And I like the lid that it has. It's like this little pop-off lid and you can secure it. So I thought this was super cute. This was only $6.99. So I thought that was a good price. And then I needed candlesticks for my candle holders. So I got these two spiraled white ones. I thought this would look nice and it's like a little bit different than the other like plain candlesticks. I like these little swirls. So this is gonna look super cute. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the pumpkins and the candle holder and like the only area where we can decorate <laughs> um, in the house. So all the decorations go on this little stand. I got this candle, even though I don't need candles, I just couldn't resist. This was like the most expensive thing that I got out of everything, it was $19.99, but it smells amazing. It's called Autumn Acorn, and then obviously look at this glass, and I will be saving this glass once the candle goes down. I wanna make my own candles, so I save a lot of glasses actually for when I ever do do that and buy the stuff for it. Um, but look how beautiful that is, and it smells it smells so freaking good. It smells like not too spicy, a little bit of vanilla and like hazelnut. I don't know, it just smells so good. I love it. And then I got a new mug because I broke two of my mugs. So I had to get a new one and I got this one that you can put hot liquid in and it's clear and I just thought that was so unique that you can like see through it. So I can like make hot coffee and hot matcha and I just thought that it was a nice look and it's huge. It's a huge, huge cup. So I love that. And then I got this little tiny cup for like froth and cream and sauces for photos for my ebook. Um, this was $2.99. It's just this little clay gray sage color. 
little cup. I thought that was really cute for sauces and cream and for photo shoots and stuff for food. Um, so I got that and I got a bathroom rug, but that's already in the bathroom. It's just a red circular bathroom rug. It was 12 bucks. It's really cute. And that is everything I got from World Market. And if you guys have a World Market near you, you definitely need to try them out for like fall decor and Christmas. They already had some of their Christmas stuff out adorable Christmas stuff. So I'll definitely be going back for Christmas decor because I am going to need a few things for Christmas. But I love shopping at World Market because it's like a store that not everyone shops at, I feel like. So a lot of the decor pieces not everyone has and there's a lot more variety than like Target. So I really like going there. It's one of my favorite places to shop for house decor and stuff. So if you have one near you, check it out. If not, check out their website. They're very affordable too, which is great. We are headed to Target. I have to return some clothes that I got the other day that I just didn't like. Um, I'm having those moments where like nothing looks good in my eyes. You know, those moments where you try on things and you're just like, no, no. No. It's like a bad hair day, but a bad clothes day. Yes, I know people can relate to that. We all have those days, you know? Anyways, we're gonna go get some food. Joey's actually gonna grill for us. We're gonna grill so much food. You guys will see that. Grilling a lot. It's we, like a, a grill meal prep. I like that, grill meal prep. That's exactly what we're doing. And we'll show you guys everything. That's really all we're doing today is grocery, going to Target. I have to get some contacts because I'm out. Return some stuff. But she looks cute with the glasses, doesn't she? Yeah, he likes the glasses. I don't because it starts over time. It hurts the back of my head and the bridge of my nose. So I prefer contacts. And then I think we're going to get some Starbucks pumpkin foam iced coffee at Target. That sounds good. Sounds delicious. Dang, your shirt is soft. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And then we'll cook and eat. We're like accidentally fasting today because um, we ate really late last night. So we're kind of like fasting. Yeah today um yeah we haven't so. we haven't eaten anything all day yet no so. yeah so the first meal is actually going to be delicious hey this stand has peaches and i wanted to make the peach pico de gallo uh, should we and tomatoes or should we just get them at target or i don't have any cash oh uh, keep going keep going there's there look at there's like nothing just peaches like and oranges yeah mm -hmm. There's like a little stand, but it didn't look like they had much. Yeah. And we don't have cash, and I know that they probably don't take hard. Yeah, they might, but... Yeah, maybe. maybe. Last night I didn't vlog because we went on a dinner date, a double date with my sister and husband, so I didn't really want to bring the camera out. Um, I just wanted to enjoy some time with them, and that was really fun. We went to a Lake City Grill in Lakeland. No, 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 it's called Fish City Grill. Oh, Fish City. Fish City Grill. Fish City Grill. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I wanted crabs, but they were out. But we got oysters, we got shrimp tacos, Joey got shrimp and grits, my sister got yeah. salmon and veggies and mashed potatoes, and I had a little bit of that. And yeah, we just had a really great night, and then we stopped by to see the kids for a little bit. And that was fun. They were wild. Yeah, they were playing. Were that's really what we did. They were giving me CPR. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> All right, we just got home from Target. I just did a grocery haul because we had so much stuff that it needed to be in its own video. So I'm going to put that in another video because it's just going to be too long to put it in this one. But we got a lot of stuff. We did kind of a bigger grocery trip. This one was a little bit larger than normal. So yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm going to go ahead and put it all away and then we're going to prep some stuff. Um, and I'm going to probably, I think I'm going to do a whole separate video because it gets kind of, if, if I show too much in one, I feel like you're missing out and I don't show enough, you know what I mean? Because it's such a, I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm going to do like a meal prep video of some of the things I'm making because we're doing protein sugar cookies, we're doing baked beans, we're going to be grilling. So I kind of want to do a whole meal prep video for that. So stay tuned, subscribe so you don't miss, but I am going to show you guys our dinner tonight. So I'm going to put this all away and then relax a little bit, have a little bit of fun. We might go to the pool and then we're going to get cooking for dinner because both of us are pretty hungry. Right, you guys, we are meal prepping. Joey is seasoned the chicken breast. 
We have steak marinating in pineapple juice. We're gonna do pineapple on the grill. We have baked potato. <laughs> Ow, damn, that's hot. <laughs> I microwaved these to prep them and then we're gonna put them on the grill. And we got the baked beans that are done. We boiled some broccoli. Oof. Look at all those veggies. So this is our freaking meal prep. It's massive, but me and Joey both are on the grind, wanting to eat lots of veggies, protein, and some carbs. So that's what we're doing. All right, guys, here is our dinner, our plates. We split a potato, have beans, all of the grilled veggies and meat, and then the pico. So this is Joey and I's dinner. We're gonna go ahead and watch a movie and relax and enjoy the night. Right now, great British, the great British baking show is on right now. So I don't know what we're gonna end up watching, but we're gonna have dinner. Hi, thanks for cooking, mm -hmm, helping good. me. Joey just got out of the shower. <laughs> he grilled a lot and it was hot out there. So we're yeah. gonna go ahead and enjoy this dinner. We're in our pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> and that is it for this weekend vlog. We hope you guys enjoyed. You're ready to eat. <laughs> All right. I'm hungry. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys in our next one. Bye, guys. Bye.